In today's video, we're going to be talking about the mean absolute deviation, also known as MAD or MAD. MAD helps us understand, helps the user understand how spread out the data is from each other. Let's use some examples to find the MAD. So basically, the MAD comes in a chart. The chart is listed in four columns. These columns you have to answer by yourself. The first column is called data. This is where you write down the data. Next, you have to find the mean of the data. Remember, the mean is basically where you add all the numbers in the data set and then divide it by the amount of numbers there are. Next is the data minus mean or is the distance from data and mean. Basically, you're subtracting the data from mean. Next, you're finding the absolute value of the distance from data and mean. That distance is what you write in the fourth column. Then you have to find the mean of the absolute values, which you will write in the total. And that is nothing but the MAD. I have two examples. I'm going to be using this example first. First, let's write down our data. So it says seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall. That is not what we're going to write down because that is not the data set. This, the number of lemons, is the data set. Over here in winter, 3, 15, 21, 13. So that's what we we'll write in our data. And also we want to put it in ascending order, so it's easier. So first is 3, then is 13, then is 15, and lastly, 21. Now we have to find the mean. 3 plus 13 is equal to 16. 16 plus 15 is equal to 31. 31 plus 21 is equal to 52. No, we're not done there just yet. We have to divide 52 by 4. The answer to that is 13. So we have to write 13 for each number that we've written in the data. So now that we have our mean, we have to subtract the data and mean. 3 minus 13, that will end up in a negative number, which is negative 10. Next, let's do the other one. 13 minus 13, we get 0. 15 minus 13, 2. 21 minus 13, that's equal to 8. Now, we have to find the absolute value. Absolute value is basically converting negative numbers to positive numbers. So, from minus 10 over here, we can turn it to 10. This would be 0, this would be 2, this would be 8. So now, we have to find the mean of it. 10 plus 0, 10, 10, 12, 12 plus 8, 20. 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. So the total is 5. Here, the MAD is equal to 5. Now we'll use another data set over here. The basketballs is what creates the data set. First, we, there's 2, 4, 3, and then 5. We put in ascending order. 2, 3, 4, and then 5. And the names aren't part of the data set. They're the ones that represent the data set. Next, we'll find the mean of it. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 and 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. But we have 14 we have to divide it by 4 which is the amount of numbers that we have. So the mean we got is 3.5. Now we have to find the distance from the mean. So we basically have to subtract. Now 2 minus 3.5 that's equal to negative 1.5. 3 minus 3.5 is equal to negative 0.5. This would be positive 0 0.5 and then this would be 1.5 now we have to find the absolute values if you want to find the absolute value of negative 1.5 that's equal to 1.5 for absolute value find the absolute value of negative 0.5 we just put regular 0.5 this would be 0.5 and then 1.5 now we have to find the mean of all of this. 1.5 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 1.5. 1.5 plus 0.5 is equal to 2, and we can do the same over here, and we get 4. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. So the MAD is 1. 